Okay, so uh, this lick is in C sharp minor and in our trusty pentatonic position. And it's, I guess it's a sort of an Eric Johnson type vibe. Probably because to me, most of the faster, or Joe Bonamassa style perhaps, most of the faster pentatonic stuff tends to sound, that's my reference point anyway. So we start here on the root and we go hammer on. Uh, it's sort of a, more of a grace note, so it's not really a... So, we, we're aiming for this note, so... Okay, and I play this with a downstroke. And then the actual sequence down, I, I vary this a lot, but the, the, the idea is to just... This type deal, so go down. change the top note of each shape and uh, the way I play this is uh, I feel more more comfortable starting a new string with an upstroke and I was confused as to why I did that and why that felt better because most guys and girls I've seen tend to do this uh, have a preference for starting a new string with a downstroke but apparently according to Troy Grady's uh, methodology and terminology I'm on upward pick center so and that's actually correct I, I'm more comfortable like this than like that but anyway so you can think about that if you, you you know better than I do if you what you prefer so the actual pick stroke doesn't matter but I, I pick everything here so uh, so a down stroke and then down on this note and then the actual sequence starts so I actually don't remember exactly what I did, it's just sort of a con concept. You can change it around any way you want. And uh, that's my general approach to faster stuff anyway. I tend to want to improvise it as much as possible. but. It's sort of a different type of improvisation uh, compared to you just improvise melodies, you know? Uh, because uh, that wasn't super melodic, but you get what I mean. Uh, when you improvise faster stuff, you, you're still reliant upon uh, sort of patterns that you already have, that you already can play at a certain tempo. So. Uh, I guess it's some sort of semi-improvising, uh, but I do a lot of, of things where I just put on a backing track and just play. Whatever, in whatever key or key changes, and I try to, I, not in this case, but I, I choose one subdivision, triplets or sixteenth notes, and I just try to keep going. Uh, with whatever technique I want, just to get a flow going. Uh, and I've seen guys like Tom Quayle, and even back when I went to GIT, they had a program they, they called Super Chops, which was so sort of this sort of a jazz based 20 week program that I did. I never did the complete thing, but the basic idea here was to just keep you would play over two by ones after a while. And the idea was just to keep uh, eight notes going, and eventually sixteenth notes, and so on. So the idea was to just play in whatever tonality you were in all over the instrument. Just keep going, improvising, and keep it keep it at a tempo where you could actually play it accurately. So uh, now straight straight a bit from this lick thing here, but uh, the point being that. Whenever you learn something, uh, you really want to get it to the point where you can. Uh, it's more of a concept, and you can you can insert it wherever you want, um, so you're not uh, stuck with uh, a long predetermined line that you sort of 
try to just stick in there somewhere. And because it's really, it's really weird, it's like speaking and, and learning a, a long sentence and trying to fit that in with the conversation with your friends and they would probably look at you funny. As they would when you're improvising on a jam and you're playing this long eight bar lick. Uh, it, it just sounds contrived. It's better to learn from the lick and try to understand, okay, I, I really like this because it went from this scale shape to this arpeggio or it had this melodic contour or it emphasized these notes and I really like that or it was rhythmically cool or everything was cool about it. You just analyze it uh, and try to find out why you wanted to learn it in the first place. So that's the general philosophy I have with this uh, type stuff. Even though I'm not a jazz guy per se, I try to apply this in whatever thing I like to play. So. Um, and uh, another thing here is, uh, it's, I think Scott Henderson recommended that you shouldn't learn, well, shouldn't, but he never learned longer lines than, I think he said like eight notes or something. Just because longer than that, it's really hard to get into your vocabulary. And he used to, or uses to, or actually do right now, as it seems. Uh, he learns a line and then he tries to, if you learn something in, in major, he goes through all the different tonalities and use that same sequence uh, or rhythm and, and just expand it. So eventually it will just pop up in his playing. Uh, and I think Michael Brecker used to do something similar. So there's very few of the, of the really good guys uh, who actually have these longer type licks and I'm talking I'm mainly talking about the improvisers here of course uh, I think Steve I is amazing and he writes everything so uh, then obviously you have a longer lick but then, then it's more of a composition than a lick so but when it comes to improvising and, and you know freeing yourself on the neck I think it's it's better to keep the things you learn pretty short if it's not some sort of concept you're trying to learn um, so if you want to learn how to develop a solo, it's a good idea to learn a whole solo, of course, but in general, uh, it's probably better to just go to the part where you, that actually inspires you the most. Uh, so you don't feel the need to, to sort of slog through 16 measures of pretty good stuff just to get to the awesome stuff in the last four measures of a solo, or eight measures, or whatever. Uh, so that's sort of the, the thing I try to remind myself of. It, no one is watching over me and telling me that I have to eat all my greens, so to speak. I, I, can, I can go straight to the dessert. Uh, so um, again, uh, back to the lick. Just uh, the pentatonic position and the idea is to mainly play if we just take this sort of Eric Johnson type pattern, where we go down one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can uh, go down like this, and then instead of just going down and starting on with the next string, you can go something like that. He has change out the top notes on each string however you want. Uh, so if I try a different variation here. So I, I think you get my the idea here. So try it out, and um, this was sort of an experiment, just using my iPhone, so I don't have to set up anything else. Use my other camera, uh, and if the quality is good enough for you, uh, that would be great because then I could do more videos like this where I don't have to. Um, abide by the Instagram one minute limit, so I can ramble on a bit, which I tend to do, as you might, might have noticed here. 
So, um, leave a comment if you have any questions or contact me through my website and please subscribe if you like this because it will really help me out to do this more often if the channel grows. So, thank you. Bye.